Hi, we have just found a uh, nice edible mushroom. Uh, this one is called Dry Add Saddle, or the scientific name for it is um, Polyporus escamosus. What we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna show you the bigger ones. Normally, the bigger ones are not that recommended to eat, but there's still some parts that we can. Um, eat but the best ones for eating is uh, when they're like around this size like the, around like the size of a hand here so I'm just gonna trim this off right here very easy to cut and we're gonna show you what it looks like here there you go gonna turn it around it's also a Beautiful. polyporous you see this is a polyporous there's no gales there's no gales so this one is uh, nice and soft, so we're going to cut it later and uh, we're also going to trim so off some of the uh, bigger ones, like the edges. We already removed all of the um, mushrooms from the, that same tree. This is all that uh, was there, I mean that, that's, a, that's a lot. And. Um, these are, these are called um, polyporous escamosus, um, basically because they, they look like scales, you see? And polyporous? Uh, and polyporous is because they don't have any gills, they're full of nice cylinder pores. That is why the name is given. And some people say that these uh, mushrooms uh, smell like uh, either like a watermelon or they smell like cucumber. Yeah, I don't. I'm not too sure about that, but that's what they say. Now what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut these up, and we're gonna show you how to prepare them so we can eat them a, li a little bit later on. So, bye bye for now. Hello again. We're gonna cook the uh, dry up saddle right now. I put a, a little bit of uh, coconut oil and the uh, temperature is like uh, a little bit less than high. I'm gonna just do a little bit so we can try them out. And you can spice this uh, the way you want it. You can add onions, you can add garlic or any other spice. Uh, right now I just want to taste it without anything so the only thing I'm gonna put is a little bit of uh, Himalayan uh, pink salt. That's all I'm going to be putting. And you don't, uh, they've been cut very thin, almost like paper, like a paper. And uh, the reason is because I want them to cook very fast and I don't want to leave them there too long because otherwise they get like, um, like elastic type. But right now, I think, you know, it's like probably not even a minute for both sides. A minute and a, and a half maximum. See, these are almost ready. I turn them around. Yeah. So I don't want to overcook them either because they're so thin. So they're ready. Just a little bit. They don't have to. If you want them a little bit crunchier, you could, but they're a lot tastier when they're not. So now they're ready. So we're gonna have a, a good taste of them. Now it's time to have a taste. Let's go for it. A little bit crunchy, but extremely, extremely tasteful. Delicious, in fact. I strongly recommend it. Bye-bye.